Hello friends, welcome back to Random Tech. Did you know you can compress a 1GB folder down to just 3 megabytes without losing any files? Sounds crazy, but it's possible with the right method and the right type of files. In this video, I'll show you how to do it step by step. I'm using 7-Zip for this process as it's free, open source, and powerful. Let's begin. First, download and install 7-Zip. The download link is in the description. I've already installed it, so I'll skip that step. Now. I have a folder here that's about 1 GB in size. You can see the size and its properties. It contains files like plain text files, HTML, JS, PHP files, Word docs, Excel sheets, and some uncompressed PDFs. These types of files are ideal for compression because they contain lots of repeated patterns and uncompressed data. Please note, this high compression method works only on text-based, raw, or repetitive data files. It won't work the same way for videos, images, or already compressed formats like MP4s, JPEGs, or ZIPs. So, let's begin the compression process. First, place all your files in a folder like this. Now right-click on the folder and choose 7-Zip in the context menu, and then select the Add to Archive option. And now this is the 7-Zip window where we'll adjust the settings to get the highest possible compression. Let me explain each setting in detail so you know exactly why we're choosing these values and what would happen if you changed them. First, choose the archive format as 7-Z because it handles large files well and works best with the LZMA method. If you choose ZIP instead, you may lose a lot of the compression efficiency. Set compression to ultra to get the most compact file size possible. If you choose a lower level like fast or normal, the compression will be quicker, but create larger files. For the compression method, choose LZMA. It's slower than some other methods, but very effective. LZMA2 is also good and supports better multi-threading, but LZMA is slightly better for solid archives like this. Now select the dictionary size. For achieving the highest compression in 7-Zip, the dictionary size is one of the most critical parameters. The dictionary is where 7-Zip temporarily stores repeated data patterns while compressing. A larger size lets it identify more repetitions, resulting in better compression. But keep in mind, the bigger the dictionary, the more RAM it needs. If your PC has 8 gigabytes of RAM or more, go with 512 megabytes or higher. On older systems, you can choose a lower value instead, so I will choose 512 megabytes. Next setting is word size. Use the maximum number for any text files as it helps squeeze more compression out of repetitive or text content. Lowering word sizes may speed things up slightly, but produces a bigger archive. I am choosing the 273. Then select Solid against Solid Block Size. This is excellent for similar files like logs, text, or spreadsheets, as it finds more repeated patterns. However, it can make extracting individual files slower. If you plan to extract specific files often, you might not want to use this option. Now it comes to the number of CPU threads. As I am using LZMA compression method, I can use only a maximum two threads out of 12, as 7-Zip restricts it to two threads max to maintain stability and avoid errors. Next, choose 80% from the memory usage for compression option. It gives a good balance between performance and compression efficiency without making your PC laggy, but you can choose 60% for low performing PCs. Leave the split to volumes and parameters blank, as we don't need to split the archive. Okay, as everything is now set and ready for compression, just click the OK button to start the process. This process can take several minutes depending on your CPU, RAM, and disk speed. Since I don't want to make the video unnecessarily long, I'll speed up this part of the video. All right, the process is complete. Let's check the result and find the size of the new highly compressed archive. Let's check its properties. Here you can see the size of the new file. Oh my God. It is less than 3 megabytes. Look at this incredible size reduction. It is over 99% smaller than the original size of the files. The highly compressed archive is only 3 megabytes, whereas our original folder was 1 gigabyte. That's incredible. Let's make sure the archive is valid and no files have been corrupted during compression. I'll extract the file now by right-clicking 7-Zip Extract here. Here, you can see that all the original files and folders are back, without any damage or data loss. Everything works just like before. Reminder, this trick does not work with videos, photos, or already compressed files. 
It's effective only for plain text, logs, and raw data files. So set your expectations accordingly. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with friends who might find it useful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.